Hello everyone and welcome back to Burst Talk. Now the Blue Beetle trailer has released this week and by the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be a very cool movie, a very good coming of age movie. Well, I'm not going to say coming of age movie due to the fact of the main character Jaime Reyes is a adult in this movie because usually in the comics and in the TV shows, well the cartoon shows that is, he is a high schooler. So I wonder how they're going to spend this once he's a um adult in his 20s and whatnot it would probably be good and interesting to see now as i went on tiktok and on facebook and other social medias and whatnot there's a lot of people that don't know who blue beetle is even though he's been across of all media from comics to tv shows and certain movies for over a decade now i usually don't do this but i will give a brief and i do mean brief history of the blue beetle and who knows, this could be a potential backdoor pilot to a new segment. Who knows? But without further ado, I will give you a brief, like I said, brief history of the Blue Beetle. Now, Jaime Reyes is actually the third Blue Beetle. Now, the actual first two Beatles were Dan Garrett and Ted Kord. Now, it makes sense that, you know, they will go with Jaime in the movies due to the fact that he's been all across of television, film and comics and video games for the past decade or so. The scarab that gave Jaime his powers was an artifact in the earlier comics, but it was later retconned as a tool of war for the Reach, an ancient race of cosmic monitors. The Reach had been at war with the Guardians of the Universe for thousands of years and eventually lost and had to be forced into a truce. But the Reach didn't take that standing down though. The Reach poses as friendly aliens learning their technology to buddy civilizations, which the Scarab will be the gift for the world's champions, giving them amazing powers and knowledge of the Reach to protect their peers. However, the Scarab was an ultimate infiltrator, covertly taking over the host's will, making them a covert agent to take over its own world. The Blue Beetle, however, once it was sent to Earth, it was damaged. So instead of controlling the host, it's formed a symbiotic relationship with them. So the Blue Scarab may be one of a kind with its damage and all, but it's not the only Scarab out in the universe. In the Young Justice animated series, we are introduced to two more Beetles, the Green Beetle and the Black Beetle. But I'm not going to get into that whole story arc on Young Justice because there's so much to unpack there. You're more than welcome to watch it on HBO Max. I, I believe all four seasons are on there. And I believe it's canceled again. I believe. I don't know. That's what I heard. But anyway. But that was a good brief history on the Blue Beetle. Hopefully you'll get an idea of where the movie could go. If it does well, we could get a trilogy or it could like have an adaptation of the story with the reach adapted into james Gunn's dcu or dceu whatever the fuck he's going to call it hopefully he won't fuck it up if this movie does well because i know for a fact that james gunn had no involvement with blue beetle and originally blue beetle was supposed to be a hbo max movie but they later changed it to theaters due to its production quality and the visual effects look too good to be an hbo max movie so I believe they have confidence that this movie would do well in theaters, even though a lot of people don't know who he is as of yet. But a lot of people didn't know who Iron Man was back then before 2008. So that could happen with Blue Beetle. So what do you guys think of Blue Beetle? The movie that is. Will it be a fresh take in the DCU or will it just be another box office and critical flop? Let me know in the comments. Blue Beetle will hit theaters August 17th of 2023. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all next time.